Catholic Church talks about exorcism. In fact, the Catholic Church never talked about exorcism until the eve of the millennium, back, you know, when kids were out worshiping the devil, and it was an extensive devil worshiping going on back in the state of New York, uh, you know, at the turn of the millennium, you know, 2000. And for the first time, the Catholic Church not only acknowledged the fact that, the, that it has a, an exorcism uh, division, let's see, it's the, the, there is a Holy See's chief exorcist. His name is Father Gabriel Amorth. And now he's saying the devil is in the Vatican. Back at the turn of the millennium, the number of parents that were calling the Catholic Church to exorcise the devil from their children was so substantial that the Catholic Church went public. And you can go back and check this. It was the bishop, uh, it was a specific bishop in the state of New York who was responsible for exorcism in the United States. Up until that time, I don't think you can find any mention of the Catholic Church, at least in this country, acknowledging the whole exorcism, its rights, uh, the, the, the whole tradition, and the fact that they even had such people who specialized in it. And I remember the quote from this bishop who said, I want to warn young people, if you ask the devil to come, he will come. Something of that nature that if you invite the devil into you the devil will accept your invitation and then he went on to talk about the high activity of exorcisms that were going on in the northeast part of the united states particularly the state of new york because young people on the eve of the millennium were devil worshiping well now chief exorcist father gabriel amorth says the devil is in the vatican he says sex abuse scandals in the roman catholic church are proof that the devil is at work inside the vatican this according to the holy sees which is the pope uh, chief exorcist of the holy catholic church the holy see father gabriel amorth is 85 years old he doesn't look a day over 75 he looks pretty good actually uh, he has been the Vatican's chief exorcist for 25 years. He has said he's dealt with 70,000 cases of demonic possession and said that the consequences of satanic infiltration included power struggles at the Vatican as well as cardinals who do not believe in Jesus and bishops who are linked to the demon. He added, when one spe speaks of the smoke of Satan, and that's a phrase coined by Pope Paul VI in 1972. In the Holy Rooms, it is all true, including these latest stories of violence and pedophilia. He claimed that another example of satanic behavior was the Vatican cover-up over the deaths in 1998 of Alois Esterman, the then commander of the Swiss Guard, his wife and Corporal Cedric Tournay, a Swiss Guard who were all found shot dead. They covered up everything immediately, said, here one sees the rot. A remarkably swift Vatican investigation concluded that Corporal Tomei had shot the commander and his wife and then turned his gun on himself after being passed over for a medal. However, Tournay's relatives have challenged this. There have been unconfirmed reports of a homosexual background to the tragedy and the involvement of a fourth person who was never identified. Father Amorth, who has just published Memoirs of an Exorcist, now there's a book that maybe we ought to, that'll be on the New York Times bestseller list. A series of interviews with the Vatican journalist Marco Tassati said that the attempt on the life of Pope Paul John II in 1981 had been the work of the devil, as had an incident last Christmas when a mentally disturbed woman threw herself at Pope Benedict XVI at the start of midnight mass, pulling him to the ground. Father Jose Antonio Fortea Cucurro, a Rome-based exorcist said that Father Amorth had gone well beyond the evidence in claiming that Satan had infiltrated the Vatican corridors. 
Cardinals might be better or worse, but all have upright intentions and seek the glory of God, he said. Some Vatican officials were more pious than others, but from there to affirm that some Cardinals are members of satanic sects is an unacceptable distance. So we've got a little dispute now going on between the head exorcist for 25 years in the Vatican, or the, for the Holy See, not just for the Vatican, for the Holy See, which is the whole church. Um, his father, Amor, told La Repubblica that the devil was pure spirit and visible, but he manifests himself with blasphemies and afflictions in the person he possesses. He can remain hidden or speak in different languages, transform himself or appear to be agreeable. At times he makes fun of me, Father Amor said. He said it sometimes took six or, six or seven of his assistants to hold down a possessed person. Those possessed often yelled and screamed and spat out nails or pieces of glass, which he kept in a bag. Anything can come out of their mouths, finger length pieces of iron, but also rose petals. He said that, that he said that it must be he hoped every diocese would eventually have a resident exorcist. Under church canon law, any priest can perform exorcisms, but in practice they are carried out by a chosen few trained in the rites. Father Amorth was ordained in 1954, etc. An interesting story. Uh, his book is out. Uh, naturally, the church is probably going, some in the church, and it'll be interesting to see what Pope Benedict says, uh, but one father, uh, uh, Father Jose Antonio Curacuro, a Rome-based exodus, said that Father Amorth had gone beyond the evidence. Nevertheless, uh, this book that's out, if I can find the chapter, the title of it again, um, the, to, 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 let's see, Father, let's see, The Memoirs of an Exorcist, Father Amorth, A-M-O-R-T-H, just published, and it's a series of interviews. He's been doing exorcism for 25 years, said he's done over 70,000 of them. I believe there's a battle of good and evil in the universe, and I at least found the good side. I don't need an exorcism today. I've had mine. Thanks for... We'll be right back. Stay tuned. A lot more to come.